Hello everyone, and today I wanna just want to start off the video by saying thank you a lot uh, for helping me reach 200 subscribers. Huge milestone, 200 subscribers, damn, and 99,000 views. Um, so, yeah, thanks a lot, guys. I wouldn't do this without you. <laughs> okay, um, first of all... This is the mod I'll be showing you how to install today. It's called the Joypad mod, and you are able to use your PS3 controller on your on Minecraft or even no an Xbox 360 controller or even a PS3 controller. I'll show you how to make a PS3 controller work for it too. Okay, so to get it, you just go to this forum post right here and click Get It Here. And I already have the website open over here, but whatever. Okay, so now you scroll down and click right here. Um, it'll bring you a page from bit.ly 1kdivpi and that will be a shortcut for Dropbox so click download and it'll download probably yeah pretty much pretty sure it'll download okay alright keep it and let me clear this dogecoin doesn't matter right now and let me just put this on my desktop right here and we got joypad mod now you'll need forge too so let's go ahead uh, this is for micro 1.7.2 by the way it's not for 1.7.9 um, most of the mods are not updated for 1.7.9 okay so just get the recommended I guess and click installer and then you'll wait five seconds as always in adf.ly always wait five seconds skip add and then keep that and then I'm just gonna go ahead and drag that to my desktop too okay now you wanna go to your minecraft and open it and you wanna make sure that you already launched minecraft 1.7.2 at least once so if you don't launch it at least once it won't work it'll ask you please launch minecraft 1.7.2 at least once I think it's yeah, something like that uh, so just Go ahead and edit your profile and make sure it's a uh, use version release 1.7.2. If you didn't change anything, it would have been on 1.7.9. So just go ahead and click 1.7.2. All right, save profile and play. It'll okay. Then it'll just download everything if you don't have it already. I mean, yeah. And then let's just wait for it to open. Then quit game because now you want to install Forge. Okay, so for Forge, you just Okay, for Forge, you just want to go ahead and double click the jar and click install client. Um, it'll be set to your .minecraft. Okay, then it'll download the libraries and everything it needs for Forge to work. So, you just wait for that to be finished. <coughs> yeah, that's that's one thing. Okay, press OK now you are gonna um, you're gonna go ahead and like go to your app data so to go to your app data just uh, type in percent app data percent anywhere like over here in your windows thingy thing thingy thing here uh, or over here in the url thinger majigger and you're just gonna go ahead and open your dot minecraft and leave this open okay leave that open and then open your minecraft again okay and we're doing this because we want a mods folder to be generated uh, you have to run minecraft at least once with forge installed um, you could go ahead and make the mods folder yourself too to speed up the process but that's up to you okay so let me make sure it's the right version of forge 1.7.2 okay you don't really need to do this you just go ahead and change your profile to forge click play and then it'll open up minecraft like uh, always and then as you see there it made a mods folder now that's where you're gonna install every mod, pretty much every mod in Minecraft um, you find on the forums, that's where it's all gonna go. So when this finished loading, as you can see, um, you all, there's Minecraft Forge right here, so that means it works, and there's the mods button right on the main menu, that also means it works, so I'm gonna quit the game before the music starts playing, Be it did, but I'm not gonna let it keep on going, so let's just go ahead and install this. So the joypad mod that jar that you downloaded, this will go in the mods folder. Okay. Now, you got the joypad mod. 
Now I could go ahead and show you how like it worked, but first uh, I would like to show you how to set up your PS3 controller to work on Minecraft. Also, this method also works for any game that supports an Xbox controller. So you could use your PS3 controller on pretty much anything. So to do that, you're just going to want to download the DS3 tool, which you can get from motionjoy.com. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, click downloads. Now, make sure you get this one right, okay? Uh, this uh, is the testing. I don't recommend you get the testing ones. I, I'll, I'm pretty, pretty confused with me because I thought this was part of this, but no, it's like... Uh, version 0.7 it's this one this one is for this one and this one is for this one so you're gonna go ahead and download version 0 0.6 uh, depending on if you have a 64 bit or a 32 bit and I have a 64 bit in my case so I'll go ahead and click site one on the 64 bit tab so it's gonna give you a zip file I'm just gonna open that up and it'll give you uh, an installation executable okay now you're just gonna double click that and then I'll click yes and then next, 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 and create desktop icon, and next, and then install. I already have it installed, so I won't really do that, but that's pretty much how you do it. Okay, I'll just exit this setup for now, and delete this, because we already got it. And now you have that installed. I don't know if you have to restart or not, but uh, now you're going to open DS3 tool, and... Let me disconnect my PS3 controller right now and turn on my PS3. Okay, so it's going to give you this menu. It's pretty simple to work with, okay? So, you have your PS3 controller. Um, I'll put a, a picture on the screen right now to show you what cable you need to connect to your computer in case you don't know. So, that's what you're going to connect to your PS3, uh, your PS3 controller and your computer. So, uh, when you have this, you just connect that to your computer through the USB it'll make a to do sound and uh, then you're gonna go to your driver manager click yes and let me do that again uh, okay it'll give you this if it doesn't give you that then maybe you plugged it in wrong or something because it's supposed to show up there okay so you're gonna check this box and then click load driver Okay, then load the driver, and then you you then you're gonna click install all. I already had it installed. Mm -hmm. I hope this is messed up. Uh, okay, so it'll install. It'll like uh, install the drivers too, and then you'll be able to get it. I I don't know. I'm not sure if it's done, but uh, let me just see. When it's done, you should go back to profiles, and if it says over here. DualShock 3, 6 axis, USB, that means they got it to work. You can also use your PSU controller, but that you would need an, adap an, uh, an adapter uh, for it to work. But it's pretty much works the same way. Okay, so for this, in, because we're using Minecraft, the Minecraft mod, it, it says it's for the Xbox 360 controller, so we want to be pretending we are using an Xbox 360 controller. And that's why we're going to select the Xbox 360 controller emulator. Just check that over here and click enable. Mm -hmm. If you want, you can vibration, do a vibration testing. It will shake your remote, remote like a hackathon. And then if you want to, you can also go to the game controller panel, properties, and move your things around. See if it works. When it works, yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. And that's it for this. Uh, you can close it if you want. I'll just, I'm just going to leave it open. Uh, but you don't need to really leave it open. It's just... Uh, in case you want to change something or like that. <coughs> okay, so then you're gonna go to your Minecraft again. This is where like you get to see that it works. Um, I don't really need to switch over to Fraps because this is just to show you that the controller works. Um, and just let it open, and I also sh I'll show you the that it works. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. As you can see, there are four mods loaded and active. So here's it. Here it is: Joypad, split screen mod. Uh, let me just go ahead. And yeah, there you go. Now, uh, controls. This is where you change it. Now, one second. Let me just change the GUI scope because I hate 
the large one okay so controls as you can see everything here is set to your um, PS3 controller slash Xbox 360 controller um, and then you just like if you want you can change this around and let's see um, just click done when you're done changing and go into single player create a new world I'll just call it PS3 controller slash Xbox 360 whatever okay then I'll create a new world with all these weird ass typings uh, for whatever reason seems like it's saying loading world building terrain yeah okay I don't know if it's a texture pack or something so when you're in the world oh yeah guys forgot something you should click controls and then enable alright make sure you do that controller xbox 360 wireless receiver on make sure it's on okay so click done 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 and then you are go you can walk around i'm just i'm, I'm gonna like uh, hold a ps3 control next to my microphone so you know that i'm actually using it i'm clicking it right now see i'm crouching jumping now sprinting uh... let's see hitting Okay. Um, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Let me see. Eh, 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 eh. No, 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 no. What? Where is it? Okay. I have no clue. I'll just do it on my keyboard. There you go. All right. Uh, so that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video, and if you did. Please hit the like button and don't forget to comment and subscribe because I already said like <laughs> and see you next time guys.